In our previous video, we solved for the price of a bond, what it was worth to us today. Another way to look at bond pricing is what rate of return can we expect to earn? And that's referred to as the yield to maturity. So when we want to calculate the yield to maturity, what we're calculating is our expected rate of return if we buy the bond today and hold it until maturity. So in this example, we're considering the purchase of a 20-year bond. It's got 20 years to maturity. 7% coupon, so we're going to receive $70 a year or $35 every six months in coupon payments. And the price of that bond, what it's going to cost us today to purchase it is $1,061.34. If we spend $1,161.34 today, receive $35 every six months for the next 20 years, and then $1,000 at the end of the 20 years, what rate of return are we going to earn on that investment? So again, we're using our five key approach and we want to set our financial calculator up to two periods per year. So the first thing we need is to recognize two periods per year. And then we have our five key approach. The first thing that we want is our N. We have 20 years. 20 years is 40 semi-annual periods. So our N is 40. Next, we want the interest rate. The interest rate represents our rate of return. That's what we're trying to solve for. So we're going to skip over that for now, just to indicate that's what we're solving for. Our present value is what we're going to have to pay for the bond. It's going to cost us $1,161.34. But it's important to note that's a cash outflow, so that has to be negative. If we don't make that negative, we're not going to end up getting the right answer. That's a cash outflow. It's got to be negative in our calculator. Next up is our payment. We have a 7% coupon bond, which means $70 per year or $35 every six months. So our payment is 35. That's positive. We're going to receive that. It's a cash inflow. At the end of the 20 years, we're going to receive the $1,000 par value back. So now we have our five key set up. Just go to our calculator. Now I'm not going to reset my calculator to two periods per year. I've still got it set that way from the previous bond pricing problem. So now I can just start plugging in my values. 40 is my N. I'm solving for the interest per year, so I'll come back to that. My present value is $1,161.34. And I want to make that negative, so I'm going to have to use my plus minus key. Make that negative, and then put it into the present value. Next up, I want my payment. 35 is my payment and 1000 be my future value. Now I've got everything in. I can solve for my interest rate. My yield to maturity on this bond is 5.64%. So that tells me if I buy this bond today and hold it until maturity, I should expect to earn a rate of return of 5.64% per year. Next up, we can look at the yield to call. Yield to call is very similar to yield.